Hi guys. I've just been reading the Boy Scout Handbook and I just wanted to talk to you guys about some scouting stuff. Oh, my bad. Sorry sorry about the mess. I just I use this room for a lot of things. Uh, let me just let me just move some of this. Let me just get some of this out of here. Um oh, yeah. Let me let me just move. Let me just uh, sometimes I cook in here, so I just, I store a lot of weird stuff in here, just, okay, that's tangerines, let's get this, let's get this stuff out of here. Okay, feeder props, what's going on here? This is going a little over the top. Let's just, um, let me, let me, no, let's, let's get this out of here. Um, oh, quick side note, do not let little scouts get this stuff. They like to eat it, and it gets really bad. Don't let them eat it. Um, let's just get that out of the way, and the hand, yeah, we don't need that. Wow, this is just, just a giant disaster. Okay, that's, that's good enough for now. So, I actually wanted to talk to you guys about a friend of mine, Lord Robert Baden-Powell. Lord Robert Baden-Powell, if you guys don't know, was the founder of Scouts. And I've been doing some research, yeah, that's a dried banana. I've been doing some research, and I just wanted to share some of my research with you guys. So, Lord Robert Baden Powell used to be Colonel Robert Baden Powell during what was known as the Second Boer Wars. And in that was the Siege of Mafeking. And that's what I'd like to talk about right now because I followed my own advice and did some research and I'd like to talk to you guys about it because I think it really affects our current time at the moment. So, in the Second Boer War, if you want to figure out more about that, do more research, but we're going to be focusing on the Siege of Mafeking. So, we had Colonel Robert Baden-Powell and his army in Mafeking, and suddenly, the enemy, the Boers, started to surround and invade Mafeking. And Robert Baden-Powell is outnumbered. The enemy has sometimes, as it says here, 8,000 troops, while he has only 2,000, and he's outnumbered, but somehow he survives 217 days before he's saved by air attack and they win that battle. So how did he survive? How was he able to survive the enemy? So this is how he did it. He used creative means to overcome the enemy. Some stuff like he used fake mines. He would put out things that looked like mines but they weren't actually because he didn't have any resources. Or stuff like he made a spotlight so it looked like he had more troops than he actually does. Even he had his troops walk in certain patterns so it looked like there was barbed wire everywhere even though there really wasn't. And then they would run out of food and he got resourceful and they would eat their own horses because he realized he needed to survive and outsmart the Boers. Or they didn't have any artillery which are those giant cannon looking things. So he got an old cannon from the 1700s that was just sitting there. And also he had his engineers build a howitzer. Robert Baden Powell used ingenuitive means to over, to outsmart the enemy. And one of them is where he used all of his men and army, and so he used boys as messengers. And this is how Scouts was founded. So why do I share this with you, other than it's a really cool story? Why do I share this story about how even, this is cool, he used a train and he put his sharpshooters in the train and sent the train out into the enemy and they shot everybody and the train came back in. Why do I share these stories with you about how Robert Baden Powell did this awesome thing? Well, I do this because I think it's important to our current situation. I feel like we as scouts are surrounded by the COVID-19. And we're surrounded by this thing and it's shutting everything down. And it's a little scary. This disease, we don't know how to stop it. We don't know when this is going to end. But we need to use our resources to outsmart the enemy. And when everything is against, seems like it's against us and we're not prepared, I want you guys to be creative and find new ways. And so when you guys have a struggle, I want you guys to look back in history at people like Robert Baden Powell who founded Scouts and started scouting and the idea of scouting during such a great crisis. So guys, I encourage you to be creative during COVID-19 and find out how you can outsmart the enemy.